the reason I've been feeling so lost Baby, I just need to take a load off Feel like I ain't did no work in so long Something got me feeling hella thawed off Everything been feeling like a bolo Lately I've been smoking, drinking solo Studio been feeling like a no-go Baby, I just need to let these hoes go Just tell them so long Fuck. Shit, man. Fuck. Oh my gosh, man. Uh, the worst run ever. Like, I'm so pissed off at myself. Like, damn. I can do better. I definitely can do better, man. Like, I did seven miles, but it was fucking terrible, man. Excuse my language, but it was terrible. Like, I did seven miles, average pace. 839 average cadence 152 man i'm so tired right now guys like i wanted to quit numerous of times but i had to embrace the suck like literally embrace the suck i'm like so frustrated with myself because that never happened like it really never happened but i gotta realize i'm not superman you're gonna have days like this when you feel like you didn't do nothing right Everything is going wrong. You pushing like the environment, everything around me, man. It was so hot and humid, guys, because it was raining like two hours before, like off and on, which is just crazy, guys. Like full blown raining, and I'm just tired, like so exhausted. But I can't quit now. This is a welcome back vlog. I haven't vlogged in like three weeks. I was catching up on work. I had a lot of ups. I let a a lot of downs so i'm back guys feeling refreshed well not from this run but i'm feeling refreshed time to get this vlog started it's gonna be a great one not a long one but a great one i have a lot to talk to you guys about what have been going on what's happening with me where have i been just know i've been working i've been down i've been up i'm levitating i've been through a lot guys i've been through a lot but let's kick this vlog off Just now arriving to the gym. I don't even know why I'm hyped right now. I literally was singing the whole way from home to the gym. I am so hyped right now, guys. I don't know whether it's just because I'm just now picking up the camera. I haven't been vlogging in like three weeks. I haven't really been doing nothing on the camera for like three weeks. I just been working outside the scene, outside the scene, behind the scenes, working on my brand, working on YouTube, just working on different aspects of my life as well, trying to get better. But I just now arriving to the gym. It's going to be a shoulder day. I have my trusty tripod because I don't have Elliot. So I'm back vlogging on my own, YouTubing on my own. Why am I saying YouTubing on my own? Recording on my own, editing on my own. I don't have no pre-workout. I don't have no BCAs. I don't have nothing right now. This right here is natural energy, guys. I did a seven mile run and also have an apple right here. Oh man, I'm late as hell to the gym as well, which I'm supposed to be to the gym uh, around 10 o'clock and it's currently 12.37, but who cares? You guys know me, but I have a Honeycrisp apple. This right here is the best apple ever. Best apple over any kind of apple, guys. I have one of these for my pre-workout, and I also have a bottle of water right here. Like I said before, I don't have no pre-workout. I don't have no BCA, so this natural energy. We're going to work on shoulders. We're really going to kill it, man. We're really going to kill it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. You guys see the hyperness? Is that a word? Hyperness? Yeah, I'm rambling. Let's jump into this shoulder workout. Let's get it. I'm tired of being patient 
sweater in your thumbs I don't mean to keep you waiting How selfish of me Having deeper conversations Yeah, we talked about a ring Now we talking about a baby Sit, uh, uh come here. Get back here, boy. Come here. Sit, buddy. Sit. Sit. Sit right here. Boy, it's hard to get him on a YouTube. When you knocking over my stuff? Sit. Sit. No, I ain't say lick me. I say sit. Nah, he don't want to listen. A lot of people keep asking for boys. Here go boys. He is super healthy now after his surgery. Come on, he is too hyper right now. Dude, they want to see you on YouTube. I don't want you to lick me. Your breath stink too. Oh my gosh. But this right here is Boris. His arthritis is getting better. His scalp is all healed up. And he just too playful right now. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is every day. Now you want to sit down. Now you want to sit down, man. Like this right here is every single day i wanted to go in the backyard and play with them but those dogs over there are just yelling well not yelling but barking for no apparent reason there's four of them man like they literally bark all day long even at night sometimes they'll bark at 3 a.m 4 a.m i let boys outside just to go pee or do whatever he want to do and guys like those dogs go crazy like the neighbors man they need to do something with those dogs like the dogs are really really terrible you just ate that fly yeah, a, a cool trick from Boris, if you say fly or anything, he literally go search for the fly. Like it's just crazy. Fly, fly, fly. Come here, get, get back over here. You can't have him out on this porch, but so long he'll start to wander off. What are you doing, buddy? This right here, my buddy though. My buddy, say hey, what's up? Say hey, what's up? Ah. But stay tuned for the topic of the video. Not really a topic, guys. I just want to talk to you guys about what have been going on with me why haven't i been youtubing lately but i'll catch you guys on the topic time for the topic of this video like i said in the beginning of the video i'm not going to hold you guys for so long so let's get right to it like the title of this video is where have i been I haven't been vlogging probably, I would say a month span, a month span, a lot been going on with me. So therefore I had to step away from YouTube. Like one of the reasons I had to step away from YouTube is because I broke my MacBook. Like my MacBook was on the couch, something happened, it fell and the screen went out. So I didn't have a computer. I have an iMac, but I really don't like being in one spot for a long period of time. So I really, really enjoy my MacBook. So now I'm trying to save up to get another MacBook because my MacBook, like I said before, is destroyed. Like what you call it, like the front, like the monitor, it's like done for it. I have like streaks going through it. Uh, the monitor is broken, shattered. I try to fix it, but Apple is asking for $500. Amazon is asking for $500 and some people are asking for fifteen hundred dollars so therefore i might as well just buy a new macbook so that's one of the reasons i had to step away from youtube another reason man i just been caring so much on my heart lately like stress and then you guys know if you stress for a long period of time it'll turn into a depression so i'm handling stress pretty what can i say i'm handling it pretty easy I wouldn't say pretty easy, but I was just handling it. stress. It started to get, well, it started to take a toll on me. It really did, but I'm starting to get past this stressing level because I really been taking everything to heart. Cause sometimes I like to wear my heart on my sleeve. I like to try to depend on people cause I've been trying to do so much just to get better with YouTube, get better with my financial gains, things around me. I try to create a website. I was depending on somebody um, to help me with that. Um, helping me with YouTube, um, helping me record with YouTube, edit with YouTube. I'm just depending on people too much, which I never really done before. Like I can learn to do things on my own. I should learn. I have been learning to do things on my own because you can make mistakes by yourself and you can also make mistakes with somebody helping you. So why should you depend on the next man or the next woman to help you with something that you can make a mistake in with their help? You see what I'm saying with that? So therefore, never depend on anyone guys never do that i always taught myself since that been happened to me like 
for a few weeks now, I have taught myself once you once you realize that you're dependent on somebody, you are a liability. That's when you become a liability because if you can't help yourself, who can help you? Because when things get dark, it's only going to be you there. It's only going to be you. And another reason that I step away from YouTube because I have been grinding on YouTube for at least three years. Three years working my ass off, busting my ass, like trying to do so much with YouTube, trying to give back to the people that's around me. You guys maybe don't know, I don't get paid off of YouTube. I just love doing YouTube. And when I put it out there and it's not getting the recognition that I feel like it deserves because I'm putting so many hours into the videos, like I have been working 10,000 hours, maybe 20,000 hours. And also my mom is always saying like, you don't give up, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing because you always come to that door. She always make a little visualization. You come to the door, the door is like your goals, your dreams. You come so close, then you just quit. Every time you quit and it's like pushing, 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 and you quit right as soon as you get to the door, it's pointless. It's pointless. Everything get harder when you're so close to your dreams and your goals. So you have to keep pushing with that, which I am getting better with that. Like I said before, it just a lot all happening at once and my feelings just all over the place. So I felt like I just need to back away from YouTube, back away from Instagram, um, social media in general. I have a lot of things that's going on in my life still that's, it's a lot of good things, there's a lot of bad things, but you need you need good and the bad guys because the good and the bad will levitate you out, will balance you out. So you need those type of things in your life. You need the bad things because you have to realize anything that happen at any moment. So the more you go through bad things, the more you gain the wisdom, the more you gain the knowledge, the more you gain the experience. And through the bad things, you have the good things. So you just got to continue to push. You got to continue to pray, which I'm doing now. We all know like the storm doesn't last forever. You're going to either water yourself, grow in the storm, or you're going to drown. It's either or, and I picked that. I'm just going to grow within the storm. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to trust in the Lord, my Lord and Savior. I'm just going to believe in my family that the people who is there is there. I'm not going to try to expand my circle. I'm going to keep my circle small, and I'm just going to continue to believe within my circle and just make my circle become better than what I am. You see what I'm saying in a sense? I know I'm, my feelings started to just go all over the place, but I just wanted to tell you guys why I had to step away from YouTube, why I wasn't posting as much. All the videos that I was posting, um, I had those videos recorded before I stepped away. I had like seven videos, eight videos recorded. Like guys, when I say I'm working on YouTube, I'm working guys. I'm usually getting in three to four videos a week. But it just take me forever to edit because I'm by myself. Working nine to five, I train people, I work out myself. It just so much, but I'm not gonna make any excuses. I'm just gonna continue to go because I know, I know all this work is gonna pay off. I really do believe that it's gonna pay off. I'm gonna continue to believe, gonna continue to pray, gonna continue to read my Bible. I'm just gonna continue to keep my head high, my nose high, and just walk in the faith, God, and not by sight. That's what I'm gonna do, not guys, God. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight, guys. You know what I'm saying. It's just, I don't want to continue to ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell. But before I go, like, I just recently signed to UND The Brand. UND The Brand, you have a new athlete right here. I have a discount code for you guys. I'm going to leave it right here. It's mellow for 10% off. Go support your boy. Please go support your boys. 10% off. Make sure you get some merch and tell them I sent you guys. And I catch you in the next one. Peace. I ain't never seen you around here before. Got me hypnotizing where you drop it low. You know what you're doing, yeah, you know for sure. Couple hundreds in my pocket, I might let it go.